Okay, so our product is called GPATS, and basically it's um, a GPS that gets inserted into a microchip, then gets obviously put in your pet. And um, we decided to do this because we're all pet owners ourselves, and we thought that it's um, it's upsetting when like a pet goes missing, or you can um, find it, and there's just so many complications with having a microchip on its own because obviously the pet has to be there at the vets to get its microchip scanned. Um, and we did some research and we found that over 500,000 cats and dogs go missing every year. And um, just statistics like these really pushed us to do it because we know that it can vary in like time depending on how far your dog or animal has been taken and how long it will take to come back. It also is much more efficient. It just um, reduces like missing signs in the area and um, just disturbing locals and like services to um, get your get your pet and yeah. So how it works is the microchip is implanted between the animal's shoulder blades, so in quite a fatty area, and the chip will store the information like your contact details, where you live, etc. So um, you can be contacted, and this chip would then obviously be scanned at the vets, um, <coughs> and it will be and their owner will be found and contacted but obviously as I said before the pets need to be there so our idea was to put the GPS into the chip instead of having like a GPS that's visible on the dog say if it's going to get taken they would know that it was a GPS so like on the collar or like a vest with it in it or something so we decided to put the GPS into the chip to enable owners of the pet to find their animal and bring them home safely um, without having to get other people involved or waiting for it to come home so the app GPETS is going to be compatible with any device. So when you go into the settings of the app, you can alter and you can set a range for where you want your pet to stay in. So for example, if, you're, if you've got a full-time job and um, you know your dog shouldn't be going outside a certain premises or you've got like a dog walker that you're not really sure about, you can set this, um, this area and if you get an alert if it goes out the area and you get asked if you're aware of it like going outside the area. And if you're not, then it shows you um, a, like a route to get to it, where it is, um, and like conditions. If it's not safe to go on your own, like if it's in like the in the middle of the night or in like a remote area, and you get 12 month, you get a monthly like um, reminder to change settings or wherever you've moved, just to keep your things up to date, so it doesn't go to like the wrong house or anything. And we did a comparison between microchips and tracking devices, so like a standard microchip on its own and then a tracking device with a GPS on like a collar. So we decided to bring our like um, product to life as if it was on the marketing, so we came up with brand names and we did some surveys and our future plans. Um, this is our um, logo, and this logo, it has our name, and it mirrors the Google Maps um, logo, and um, the location pin is um, a love heart because it shows the love you have for your pets um, and how the um, consumer of our product will feel when they use it. So we came up, we did some research and we found that there's already um, like developing plans to put a GPS in a microchip and we estimated like the price for a normal microchip can vary from 20 to 50 pounds. Um, and this is without any like additional like fees or consultations or any medicine that's needed, um, if like anaesthetic. Um, so due to the more advanced technology, um, we would rate we would um, estimate it around 150 pounds. Um, we did a survey. So 72% of people we asked said they have a pet with a microchip. 92% um, of these people said they would use our product. 54% said they'd be willing to use our first released or trial product on their pet. 62% um, of people said they often worry about their pet getting lost or stolen. And 100% of people said they had a smartphone or tablet which they'd be able to download our app on. Our future plans for our product is to develop it enough so it can help with tracking migrating species, help with poaching and then help control endangered species and we also like to put it in marine animals and reptiles. Thank you very much. You just moved into the shady side of town, but you don't know that. 
Some mysterious things have been happening. Your windows have been waxed. Your petunias have been pinched. Your sausage dogs have been snatched. Long story short, you got robbed. But this wouldn't have happened if you had Crime Map. Crime Map is a free app with three main functions. The main function is a visual crime map. We will use satellites to create an accurate digital map which shows areas of concentrated crime, as well as information from local news services to alert you, for example, if a road or an area is closed. The second function is a report crime feature. This allows members of public to report crimes ranging from abusive behaviour to drug dealings. It's a live update on crime as well as annual data analysis. We will use GPS to gain an accurate location to access this database for their safety or if they were looking at to buy houses in different areas or comparing danger levels in different communities. The police will be able to look at information as a whole in order to link different crimes and begin to solve them. Finally, we have an emergency button. When pressing your power button rapidly on your phone five times as an emergency signal, along with your GPS is sent to the emergency services, meaning you are protected even though you are in a position where you can't phone the emergency services. For our project, we are going to use MEO satellites. They travel at a constant speed and altitude between 5,000 and 10,000 miles. They are more effective than LEO satellites because they can cover a greater area of our surface, which is more suitable for crime mapping. Um, MEO systems consist of a dozen satellites and it only takes 50 to 150 milliseconds for signals to be received on Earth. Uh, we are going to use triangulation to pinpoint crimes and track trends in areas. Some advantages of our app is that it raises awareness of public crimes in your local area. It helps tourists with areas that may be more risky as they're not already familiar with them. There's a faster connection to the emergency services. There's more data for crime analysis for the police. And you can accurately pinpoint crimes and alert the police on crimes more efficiently. There is, as always, some risk that some people may abuse the system. However, people cannot use this platform without signing in. Users are first verified and last to logged in using an ID. And crimes are only first visible to the police to confirm for credibility. And some people may say that it's bad for economy, but it won't be affected as well because it raises awareness for standards of life in the local community so they can work together to improve the life there. So one area of our target market are house buyers. This app will allow them to search an area of interest so they can get a greater understanding of that area and make a more educated decision before moving house. We also hope to get a partnership with the police as that will add credibility to our data and it will also provide them with more data for them to analyse. They can also use this data to identify areas of concentrated crimes and they can direct the, their focus to those dangerous areas. They will also be able to see correlations between certain crimes and areas. We also want to um, partner with the councils. After listening to some of our market research, we decided that partnering with councils will add to our product as we'll be able to get live updates about traffic and any road information. Emergency features are already available on phones but our app is compatible with more devices and it's more accessible. Uh, our, app allow, our app uses public input which would allow more crimes to be reported and this would make police databases more reliable. Uh, the app can be synced to local news sources so that map viewers can get an overview of roadworks and closed roads. The app will be useful for health and safety assessments, police analysis and the real estate industry. We have asked many people about our project for market research. Overall, a total of 26 people have replied. Most said that the app would be useful in their everyday lives as it would make it easier to report petty crimes such as littering or to easily contact the emergency services in a situation where they are alone and in danger, such as being injured on a ten tours walk. After conducting our research, we have simplified the app so that it is more accessible for everybody. <laughs> Our improvements were to make it harder to press the emergency button as this could be done by accident. We have also took on board the suggestion to make the target audience smaller, but we think that the app should be accessible to all. 
So my idea is called Virtual Eyes and it is a GPS app for blind people which allows them to navigate around when they're indoors in places such as schools and workplaces by using satellites in a geostationary orbit and an indoor GPS repeater. So currently there are apps that have navigation features for blind people but these only work when you're outdoors in direct view of the satellite. So developing an app that also works inside could give blind people much more independence especially in places where it isn't possible to have a guide dog. For example, it could allow blind students to go to mainstream schools or to have access to more social activities. So, GPS receivers calculate your distance from at least three satellites and then use trilateration to work out the range you'd have to be in from the satellite and work out where the three circular ranges overlap to get your exact location. And it's possible to get GPS indoors by having an antenna on the building's roof that works with an indoor GPS repeater. So the antenna picks up a signal from all visible GPS satellites and then feeds it into an indoor receiver box which reproduces the signal inside the building. And mobile phones are low power transmitters, so most of them use wireless assisted GPS the information from GPS satellites combined with signals from the phone to locate you even faster than a GPS only receiver and my app would be free to download and would speak out loud to the user for example telling them to turn right and walk 30 steps or to walk through a door however there would be some costs involved for the building having the repeater kit installed um, and I've mostly been considering this idea for school students, like to give blind students access to mainstream schools, but this same technology could be applied in many different situations, including in the home, and in the near future it will most likely become much more widely used, affordable and accessible. So it's basically just a GPS app for blind people that works inside, and when you go onto the app, you would just enter your location, enter the layout of the building, and select a room you wanted to go to, and it would speak out loud to give you directions there. Um, we'll be using a GPS satellite, which is made up of three components, one in space, one on the ground, and one in your pocket. These satellites will, will be beaming radio wave signals towards Earth, and the receiver listens out for the signals and picks up your location. When a barcode that is on the bin is scanned, a signal is sent to the satellite through radio waves and the data is saved. The more codes that are scanned, the more data is collected, which is then shown on the map on your app. This is how play players see where the rubbish is. This is important data to collect, as it helps scientists to carry out further experiments on how pollution is affecting our Earth. Maps will show, obviously from the signals, mo the most polluted areas in Cornwall and we will highlight them red, amber or green depending on this. Our actual game is a Pokemon Go style app that uses satellites to detect the most po polluted places around Cornwall. We will have bins placed in the most populated areas that have barcodes on them that links to the app. The game <coughs> consists of collecting rubbish and putting in the barcodes. On the app, there will be a way to enter the barcode that is on the bin. By doing this, it will allow us to see the most polluted areas around Cornwall. You will start off with a ladybug character, and every 10 pieces of rubbish you collect, therefore scanning 10 barcodes, you will get an upgrade. The upgrades include getting a new bug or getting accessories for your character. Um, so this is how GPS works. If um, someone, maybe, I don't know, I don't know what should be called, Sharon or something, <laughs> was stood like there, then there would be at least three, maybe four satellites around her at any one time. If you get one satellite, then she could be anywhere along this line. Then if you get two, it can be on two points. But if you have three, then you can pinpoint the exact location. Um, all right, uh, litter, especially plastic, is a huge problem um, because it ends up in the sea which poisons like, aquatic animals and us because 
when it ingests the plastic, it like gets into its system. And then if we eat the fish, then we might get plastic in us as well. Yeah. That's basically what Chelsea just said, yeah. Oh, yeah, Callum. <laughs> All right, um, we did a survey around school explaining a rap to teachers and classmates. Um, the results that were most children aged 14 to 15 were interested in the app. 17 liked it and 13 didn't. Um, our teachers' response were also positive, saying they would download the app for their children. Our game, we decided from um, this figure, um, it would be better for young children, as old children wouldn't be in, as interested in the bug and would prefer real prizes. In the future, we would like to add like ladybug bins and that, so it's like more creative. Yeah, and also with the prizes, we'd like to get like prizes from Domino's and that. <laughs> so there'll be like five dollar prizes and that to get discounts on the food and that. Yeah, that's it.